In other news tonight, police in Idaho believe an edged weapon was used in the attack that left four University of Idaho students dead over the weekend. One of the victims was a 20 year old who had ties and spent lots of time here in the valley. We are on this story. Holly Box spoke with her family and what are they saying tonight, Holly? Well, Yetta, we'll start with the fact that there are so many questions here. One of those students found dead inside of a home near campus is 20 year old Zoner Knodel, who often visited her dad who lives right here in the valley in Avondale. Tonight, her sister tells me their family is extremely confused about what happened. This is stuff that shouldn't happen, especially in a small, quiet town like Moscow is where we're heavily uh, involved with the university. Tonight, 20 year old Zana Kernodle's sister sharing this message with me. My family and I are at a loss of words, confused and anxiously waiting for updates on the investigation. I never would have thought that this would have happened here. Reports say the students likely died between 3 and 4 a.m., but weren't discovered until hours later after police got a call for an unconscious person and found four bodies inside of this home. Tonight, police saying they believe an edged weapon was used in this killing. According to Mad Greek, a restaurant near campus, Zana and Madison Mogan, another one of the students killed, worked there for several years. In a Facebook post, they say the two brought so much joy to the restaurant. The owners shutting their door yesterday to grieve. The university also canceled classes Monday and set up counseling resources for students and employees. This is rocking their world. Many of them come from small communities where things like this have never happened. Tonight, there are still so many questions. Police say there are currently no suspects in custody. They believe this was an isolated, targeted attack with no threat to the community. But they also say they are working to identify persons of interest. Zana's sister, mourning, saying you rarely get to meet someone like Zana. She was positive, funny, was loved by everyone who met her. She made me such a proud big sister. I wish I could have more time with her. Now, autopsies are expected to be completed later this week. That will hopefully be able to give us a better picture on the exact cause of death. The university also postponed a vigil until students return from Thanksgiving break. In the newsroom, Holly Bach for Arizona's family. Just an awful story. Holly, thank you. We've got new pictures.